Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to cover how to solve system of equations using the linear combination method, which is another way of solving system of equations. So what I have here, I have two equations written up on the board. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to solve these using linear combination. And when you're using the linear combination method, what you want to look for are if you can combine x or y in order to get zero. So I can see here I can't really manipulate 3y and 6y. I can't add or subtract that to get 0 yet. But what I can do, I can take 4x and add negative 4x and get 0. So I'm going to do that right now. So I'm going to add the two equations. Um, I'm just going to add all the y terms, all the x terms, all just the normal numbers. So I'll get 9y plus 0x, which this is what we want, this is why we're using this method, equals 45. And then I just simply get 9y equals 45, divided by 9 on either side, y equals 5. And now I'm just going to plug in this y value back into the first equation. So I'll get 3 times 5 plus 4x equals 31. 15 plus 4x equals 31. 4x equals 16. x equals 4. So the solution, the point of intersection of these two lines is 4 comma 5. And now to check that, I'm going to go over here and do the check. You should always do the check when you do a problem just to make sure you didn't mistake anywhere along the line. I'm going to take the uh, point 4 comma 5 and plug it into the other equation in the system. So I'm going to do 6 times 5 minus 4 times 4. I should get 14. 30 minus 16 equals 14. Yes, 14 is equal to 14. So the points we found do work. So now, I'm going to go through another way of using the linear combination method. So, you know, I have the two original equations still up on the board, but what we can do, uh, we can also manipulate either equation to try and uh, get it so we can either add or subtract the variables to get to zero. So what I can see right now is if we divide the second equation all by two, we'll be able to get a 3y in the top equation and a 3y in the bottom equation. We can then easily subtract those and get rid of the y. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. So I'm going to divide each side by 2 to get 3y minus 2x is equal to 7. And I'm just going to kind of rewrite these equations over here on the board. I'm going to go through and subtract. So I'm going to rewrite the first equation. 3y plus 4x equals 31. And now this new second equation, which I've derived, which is equal to 3y minus 2x equals 7. Uh, but this time I'm going to end up subtracting instead of adding. So I'm going to subtract. And so we're going to get 3y minus 3y. That's equal to 0y. 4x minus a negative 2x, which is really just 4x plus 2x. We get 6x. Positive 6x equals 31 minus 7, which is equal to 24. So we know 6x is equal to 24, divided by 6 on each side, x is equal to 4. So you know, very similar to the first time I went through everything, we got an x value of 4. And it will be the same intersection point for both of these lines, any way we try to do this. So now, using x equals 4, I'm going to plug it into the first equation. So I'm going to get 3y plus 4 times 4 equals 31. 3y plus 16 equals 31. 3y equals 15. Divide each side by 3, get y equals 5. So the intersection point, the solution point for these, the system of equations is 4 comma 5. I'm just going to do a simple check now on the side of the board over here. Using the point 4, 5, I'm going to use this new equation 
to check it, make sure everything works. So I'm going to do 3 times 5 minus 2 times 4 equals 7. 15 minus 8 equals 7. 7 is equal to 7. So the check works. So I've just shown you guys two ways to use the linear combination method to find the uh, solution for system of equations. Thanks for watching. Check out all of the other videos. Thank you.